Today is December 1st, first day of December, and Christmas is coming. I thought today I'd share with you a, a fun project. Jack and I did one of these last years. It's making a, a small kind of a, a winter scene out of um, a piece of firewood. This piece of firewood here is just a, a little round that I took out of the wood pile. It's about uh, three inches in diameter. And anything will do like this, anything that you have laying around something that's dry. So the first thing we want to do is we'll cut it to length. The length is, is uh, pretty much comes down to personal preference. I'm going to cut mine about, uh, let's say about seven inches long. So take your saw, any saw will do, any hand saw if you have it. If not, if you have a, an electric saw or a miter box, that'll work too. Our next step, we're going to want to split this right in half. There's several ways you could go about it, I guess. You could uh, take your saw and rip all the way through it. You'd get the cleanest cut that way. However, that can be uh, a slow process, a bit tedious, as you can see here. Let's take a small hatchet and see if we can't split it cleanly. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. I'm gonna take a small hatchet here. I'll put it in the kerf that I started and with a soft mallet. See if we can split it cleanly. You never want to hit on your axes, hatchets or axes with anything metal. You can break them, but if you can hit it with a soft hammer, dead blow hammer, that's ideal. And this actually split pretty good. Boy, this is some beautiful, look at the tight knots on that. Nice thing about limb wood is it's some of the, it is the best firewood on the tree, overlooked by many people that don't think it's worth the time to cut it but it's so dense, look at the growth rings on it, that there's more BTUs in that than in the cordwood itself. So this split pretty good. It's got a pretty good twist in it. We're gonna want this, this is gonna be kind of the display for our base, so we're gonna want this to sit flat and it's not gonna sit flat now. So let's take our plane or whatever you have, a draw knife, belt sander, whatever, your pocket knife, and we'll, we'll get this, work this material down so it's not wobbly, so it sits flat. The more I learn about these hand planes and the more I use them, uh, the more I'm just astonished at how versatile, to, versatile to, they are, how many things that they'll do. This little plant, plane here, I don't think I've shown this to you before. This was a, sent to me from a subscriber some time back and I have put it in my box of tools to restore. And I, being new to planes, when I read the name, I, it's called, it's a, USA made, made a Defiance is, is the brand name. And I thought at the time, well, you know, it's not a Stanley, so it's no good, but I was, was wanting a plane that was a little bit smaller than this. I think that this one here is about a number four. And this one here must be a three and a half. It's just a tad bit smaller, as you can see there on the back side, and a little bit narrower. And I think it's a better plane. I, I haven't restored it, but I did uh, this morning. I went through it and I polished and, and ground the iron, sharpened the iron, and oiled everything up. And this is, the, this is the nicest plane I've ever used. It's a beautiful little plane, and the sole is relatively flat. But I, this is the one, if you haven't seen this before, this is the one I'm going to be using today, the little um, three and a half defiance. So there's any number of things you could use to flatten this out. And I can, this little file, I'll bet we'll make short work of it, or the, the, the plane. I'll set it pretty deep. That is a beautiful piece, beautiful piece of wood. I'm gonna save some of these limbs for projects. Look at the grain in it. Man, that is gorgeous. So we just wanna flatten that until it does not gonna have any wobble in it. It just sits flat like that, whatever that takes. It doesn't have to be perfect. But that right there is ideal. So we'll set that piece aside and come over to the, to the other half of it. Now we're gonna to wanna to cut a little, split a little, uh, wedges here off the billet, just kind of pie shaped like that. And this piece does have a bit of twist in it, you can see, but I think it doesn't matter so much. So we'll take our hatchet or ax or whatever you have, line it up on there and see if we can't get a nice split. Storm was away within the hour. Shepherd saw the sun come out. Shepherd's wife saw near again. He buried her in the bacon. He turned the seed into the ground. 
He brought the flock to feed them on. He held the cleaver and the plow, and the shepherd's work was never done. So if you have woodworking projects like this you want to do and you don't have a, a carpenter's bench or vise, uh, you can get by really well with this setup right here. I've got this, uh, this is a jet clamp. Um, you can order these anywhere. Um, I think they're my Amazon store, wranglerstar.com, Wrangler Mart, excuse me, wranglermart.com. Uh, it's really a great clamp. I just have the one, but it's all coated in plastic. So if you're planning and using your tools on it, you don't have to worry about getting the, the blades or the irons dinged up. And by clamping this in your vise, whether it's a machinist vise or anything you have, you have a really versatile woodworking clamp. It's especially good for, for handles and such. So I've got one of the little wedges that we cut off, off of here, and I'm going to strip the, uh, we just want to very carefully strip the bark off. We don't want to, we don't want that bark on there. Draw knife works really good. You don't have to have a draw knife. Anything will work. You can use a chisel. A lot of this stuff we're going to be doing today, I'm going to use my, my Deering Bushcraft knife. If you have a good sharp knife, you can use that like a draw knife. Now you can see the advantage of that clamp. Having a nice blade like this that's so sharp, last thing you want to do is come in contact with a clamp. And so, a metal clamp, so that plastic is is really great for that. Oops. Well, careful with that. Careful, careful. There's one sharp knife. I'm surprised I didn't cut myself there. Make sure you get all that cambium off there. You may think you have all the bark off. But we want to get, this is that under layer right there. You can see the two-tone there. These little pieces need not be perfect. Actually, it's better if they're not. It gives them a uniqueness and a little bit of character. Oh, this fur is nice wood to work with, isn't it? Beautiful. Some clamps. That about do it. It's really nice to be back in the wood shop. I think one of the things that I look forward to more than anything is those cold winter days and it's snowing outside and you just want to be in by the wood stove and it's nice to go into the shop and work on these projects and just not be in any rush or in any hurry and it really is a real blessing to be able to do these things. So uh, I've been working on the or Mrs. W and I, we've both been working very hard on the remodel, putting in 12-hour uh, days plus. Uh, we've got uh, the framing pretty much all done. We're working on the electrical, and we've got the new stairs in, and lots of things done. So today I just felt like I needed to take a break and get out in the wood shop and, and to work on something that I enjoyed working on and, and get the get and share a video with you guys. Um, let's see. Part two will be coming up, and uh, stay tuned. I'll have a Manly Manners at the end. So there will be a Manly Manners. Had a subscriber contact me today and, and to let me know that uh, he would be unsubscribing because I no longer do Manly Manners. So I wish he would have waited one more day. But for the rest of you, Manly Manners coming up. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll bring you uh, an update here real soon on the remodel. Uh, maybe a short video and get Mrs. W to give us a little walking tour she's very excited and i guess that's about it so god bless you all and we'll see you guys on the next video mm -hmm.